Today, I think we're going to see the most beautiful part of the trip on the coast. Formed by the waves and winds of the Baltic Sea, the spit is shared by Lithuania and Russia. I'll just be enjoying the fresh air and the water. Its constantly drifting sand dunes are also a beachcomber's delight. We're looking here for amber. Lithuanian people everywhere, they walk at the seaside just looking down. They are always optimistic to find some amber. For thousands of years, high quality amber torn from the bottom of the Baltic by fierce tides and storms have been deposited along this tiny sliver of beach. Do you see a tiny, tiny piece of amber? So, you have your treasure. I've always had good guides on OAT, but Vita is one of the, the very best. Whatever someone is interested in, uh, she will adapt and find a way for us to see that and learn about it. I'd like to take Vita back home with me. <laughs> she's great, yes, I think we all think she's great. You lost it. I lost it. Did you see where it went? <laughs> this is why, why we can find it again and again, because people, they keep losing that. At one time, the collection of amber was a risky business, closely monitored by the government under draconian amber laws. Each coastal village along the Baltic had its own gallows for amber thieves. Here we are in the amber gallery. We have a blue amber, what I'm wearing today, it's also blue amber, also very rare color. So I give you the taste, actually, how does it taste? So, salute <laughs> a little bit and give for another one. <laughs> and for the size. We're polishing okay. amber to get the bark of it off. People coming here, they, they believe that amber this is only yellow and suddenly they find that amber can be black, amber can be white, it can be transparent or not transparent. This is one more of the surprises or learnings that we call that here. The people of Lithuania and the Baltics have, against great adversity and foreign occupation, kept their culture and religious beliefs intact. So this is where we have the tents, and this is what people, they are not supposed to cross and go to Russia. Recent independence of these countries has allowed them to open their borders both to one another and also to the outside world.